And at this time, we want to reap a harvest of knowledge as well during our tribe talk. And so I want to invite one of our newest members to come and join me on stage for our tribe talk. So Paulette, would you come forward? And can we give her a hand as she comes? And she's going to be sharing, I believe you're going to be sharing from a parable that's in our plan. All right, you know the deal. You've got three minutes. We'll let her unlock her phone first, because that's always the first thing everybody does. Hang on a second, let me unlock my phone. They struggle, it's great. Thank you. Good morning, and thank you. It's such a, uh, an honor to be a part of this tribe now. I'm really looking forward to see what God's going to do. And it's also an honor to be here with my first pastor, Pastor Mark. I was with Chardon Assembly. And he was my pastor, and the, my most recent pastor, Pastor Bill Mullet, is also here. And thank you, Pastor Ryan, for this opportunity. And I'm a licensed auctioneer, so I wrote a book, and I can do it in three minutes, I promise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chances are of you getting it are slim, so get the tape. <laughs> okay. So um, in Matthew 5, 14 and 16, um, the verses say, You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. And then in Mark, he says, then Jesus asked him, would anyone light a lamp and then put it under a basket or under a bed? Of course not. A lamp is placed on a stand where its light will shine, for everything that is hidden will eventually be brought to the open, and everything in secret will be brought to light. Anyone with ears to hear should listen. The more understanding Listen closer, the more understanding you will be given, and you will be, you will receive even more. And then in Luke, he says, no one, when he's lit a lamp, puts it in a secret place under a basket. And it says the lamp is the bo- of the body is the eye. Okay? So out of that, and there's more to it, just, you know, get, it, get hooked into our plans. They're awesome this year. Um, we get, the, we are the light of the world. We were made to shine before all. Those um, that we're supposed to be put like on a lampstand, not hiding the light that we're given. Jesus was giving us all this light. There, he's teaching the Sermon on the Mount. He's teaching about the Lord's Prayer, the Beatitudes, the parable of the sower. And then he gives, he says to them, you know, the light, you're the light of the world. You're supposed to shine. I put you on a lampstand for a purpose. I think he had in mind knowing they were going to go back from the mountain to their workplaces, to their homes and their marketplaces. And were they going to try to hide the light that they've been given? So he really told them, pay close attention. And in Revelations 120, when it talks about the seven golden lampstands, it says the seven churches are those lampstands. And that is saying those seven churches had some issues. Some of them were doing some good things, and some of them, and there were other issues that he had with them. We need to be careful. How are we hiding our light? Are we hiding it under doubt and, de- and unbelief, under criticism? Are we hiding our light under religion and rules and regulations, do this, don't do that, without loving? Are we hiding under brokenness in our life? Are we hiding under, under a bad relationship? Are we hiding it under laziness and complacency? Are we hiding under, I can't do that? Are we hiding it under separation? I can't do it at work. I can't do it at school. I can't do it in the marketplace. I can't take God there. Aww. All right, put your hands together for Paulette. That was wonderful. Thank you. 